welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I'm glad that you are here today because we're going to be talking about how much food and water do you need to survive. So, the federal government says that you only need a three-day supply of food. Yes, would you believe that, folks? Go right on the internet there and look it up and see what FEMA tells you. You need a three-day supply of food and water. Three gallons of water and three days supply of food. That's all you need. And then they're going to be there. They're going to take you by your hand and they're going to take you off to Walt Disney World and put you up in a nice resort. And don't you worry about a thing. It's all done, taken care of for and paid for. And you ain't got no worries in the world. Now, if that isn't the biggest BS story you have heard today, I don't know what is. So let's go off of what you really need. All right. Now, let's go start with the calorie count. All right, because a lot of people just don't understand this and don't, don't realize what their calories per day should be. A woman should be about 2,000 calories, which breaks down in a six-month period. We're talking about having a six-month food supply put up just because. Okay, so for that six months, is 360,000 calories for a woman. A man is 2,500 calories per day. That breaks down to about 450,000 calories for a six month period. Now, why am I talking about a six month period? Well, if you sit back and you really look at what's going on in this country, in this world, of all the different things that have taken place, that are going around, we've got mega droughts, we've got floods, we've had hurricanes, we've had earthquakes, we've had all different types of scenarios that have taken place all around the globe volcanoes the whole nine yards all right folks we're a ticking time bomb we haven't even talked about the inflation what's going on with the government what's going on in politics in general and what directions they're going we're not even talking about how they want uh, AI to take over and is taking over a lot of different things that people just don't even realize. And in case you don't know what AI means, that's artificial intelligence. It's a very scary thought because computers are slowly taking control and most of you people out there don't realize it. So, water. Water is the number one thing that you have to make sure that you secure for your survival. Now, that's the tough one because you need a gallon of water a day, 30 gallons per month, which breaks down to 180 gallons for six months, 360 for a year. All right. Now, you break down your gallon of water per person into as follow. You have a half a gallon to drink. You have a quarter a gallon to cook with and a quarter of gallon to wash with okay so that's how you got to break that down so the one gallon covers your drinking your cooking and your washing washing your body keeping yourself clean and then the whole nine yards even if it is a disastrous type situation you got to make sure that you stay clean to make sure that you stay healthy Okay, so what are some of the ways that we can do this? You can start putting up your own food. You can keep track of the calorie count per serving and everything else on everything that you put into your pantries, your storage, whatever it is. If you can food, freeze dry food, if you dehydrate food, however you do it, however you can afford to do it, you can keep track of the calorie count. Okay, and this way here, you can assure that you're going to get close, at least close to the approximate calories per day. Now, another way that you can do this, because that will be a lot of work for you to do. You are going to have to have ways of writing everything down as far as all your calories and everything else. And then you're also going to want to make recipes to go along with those calories so this way here, you already know what kind of meals that you can make with all the food that is in your supply. Now, another way you can do this, which will cost you 
quite a bit of money, but it does have quite a few benefits. And let's cover some of these. Your freeze dried foods. Now there are a ton of freeze dried companies out there that sell their products online. Some you can even buy in local stores. So I would suggest before you go spending a lot of money on a six month supply is to see if the company that you think you're going to like or that somebody has talked about and you want to try is to purchase, see if you can purchase a one pouch deal of it so that you can make it and have everyone in the family taste it and see what they think. Because if you're going to spend this kind of money that I'm going to tell you here in a minute, you want to make sure that your people are going to like it and you're going to eat it. All right, that's the whole key. It's an emergency type situation. You may not have anything else. So what you have to do is, if you find one that you do like, you can go on and you can order a six month supply from just about any of the freeze dry companies out there. They also do a year, but that one's gonna cost you even more. Your six month supply is gonna start you at about $1,500. Now, here's the bonus to all this. It's already done for you. It's free to stride. It's good for 25 years to 30 years. All you have to do is add water and you have your whole meal because they do the breakfast, lunch, dinners, the whole nine yards, all done for you. Not to mention, if you are limited on your space, it's a space saver. Usually comes in so many totes, containers, buckets. They all ship them in different ways. So it's easier for you to store either under your bed in a closet, spare room, you can throw a sheet over it, nobody can see it, and you don't even have to worry about it anymore. You just have to make sure that you can get water. You have to make sure that you know where your water source is if you have to get water outside your home. You also have to make sure that you do have a way to filter that water that you are going to get from outside your home. And you have to make sure that you have some way to cook, at least boil water. Because if you're getting it from someplace and maybe if you're not so sure about it and everything else, even if you filter it, I would highly suggest that you boil it too to make sure that you're killing off anything that's left that the filters didn't catch. And this way here, you're playing it safe. You're not going to get sick because that's the last thing you want. And this way here, safety is the number one concern in an emergency type situation. As I always say, expect the unexpected. Be prepared. So how much food and water do you really need to survive? Well, if you're a woman, you need 2,000 calories per day. If you're a man, you need 2,500 calories per day. And everybody needs a gallon of water. Now, you also could sit there and, you know, you could say, well, I'm going to do half and half. That's great. You can do that. You could have half freeze-dried foods. You could have the other half as all your cans foods and your dry goods and you can put them all up in marlar bags and do all this kind of stuff and you're still going to succeed at being prepared for that six month window now should you go farther than that possibly so we'll have to wait and see how this all plays out but i would highly suggest for people to strive to hit that six month goal of having food on hand because with the way that everything is going right now it's like a snowball out of hell and it's rolling down the hill folks so in closing i just want everybody to be prepared and to know how much food and water you actually need to survive on a daily basis and then multiply that put it in place and Set a goal for your six month food and water storage. Your water, you may have to make sure that you have some way to transport water, buckets, whatever, and make sure you know where a 
good water source is the best water source that you can find closest to where your home is or your shelter, depending on the situation. Having the water is the key to the whole survival. And speaking of survival, I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this video today. I really do appreciate it. I thank you for everything that you guys have done for my channel. And until next time, you all stay safe, keep prepping, thrive to survive. I'll catch you on the flip side. Mm -hmm.